Hey guys, welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cami, and welcome back to the homestead. Well guys, yesterday we discovered termites when we was in the process of repairing some wood. Now, I've hired Chris, and I'll introduce him in just a little bit, but Chris had found termites and repairing a little section down here about this big because of the water coming down off of the roof and then splashing up on the wood with time it creates it of course got that moisture and it creates rot and I have so many projects going on right here I pulled Chris in Chris is so far has been a blessing to me because I've hired other people and it just hasn't worked out but but Chris when he was doing this repair right here found these termites and the thing of it is with wood you don't know if what's behind that wood if it's rotten until you tear it out so fortunately I think so far we have found good news we didn't see any termites um, we're going to estimate or look at that damage more so today to see the depth of that damage hopefully it hasn't gone into the 4 by 4 but just the 2 by 4s and so uh, I have also called a, a termite place this morning I had called one during the summertime they came out there was no no termites, they didn't see any termites anyhow, but they their price was so high as what they want to put moisture barriers and all this in. And then I realized when I looked at the house, the bins were closed, the crawl space was closed, and we live on the east coast of North Carolina and humidity is crazy here. So what I did after he left, I just opened up all those vents, opened up the crawl space, summertime, let it dry out up under the house, and you know, I don't think they can even spray or do anything or, or do any kind of treatment until the, the area is dried out anyhow. So uh, so I decided not to use that company because it has some issues before, but I called this other company, so they're coming out and I'm gonna get an estimate on treatment. Now, getting an estimate on treatment costs you nothing for them to come out. At the same time, they're doing an inspection to see if they see any termites. If they don't see any termites, they're gonna give you a, um, a offer for treatment of termites so that's what's going to take place especially after this just showed up here yesterday not that it hasn't been on my agenda but I've learned something from this you know when they call this company in, I should say wait just a minute this is what I'm going to do I'm going to open up these vents. I'm going to open up this crawl space I'm going to let the, the, the earth the sun the heat of the earth it dry out this and then we're going to take a look at this moisture up under this house and in the meantime, when it, when after it dries out, I need you to treat this. And that's what I should have did. And, you know, being a homesteader by yourself, single, sometimes you, you, don't think, you don't think about everything. You know, you think about later on. And uh, a lot of people want a homestead, but they don't realize the difficulty it is. But you can do it. You just have to have that determination and then be like me. If you've got so many projects going on that you can't get to all your projects, especially when this is happening and that's happening, you know, this needs to be sent to, and this pops up, and then you're just like, which one do I take care of first? Well, of course, you would take care of the, the one that's at priority, the one that's most important first. With the saying that, I had called other workers in. One, I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I had to go back behind him and fix things and do things, and I'm just like, this is not working. The other one, um, that's another stitchy situation. I, you'll see him on the video, How to Build a Low Sidewall Greenhouse. You know, he just kind of, quits you know uh, he just drags it out and I'm like I need to get this done I showed him all these repairs that need to be done six months later eight months later there's not done oh it's hunting season I'm, I'm not okay that's the end of that story okay you got to have something that's reliable someone that's reliable and dependable and the only way to do that is just give them a test run let them run with it for a little bit if they don't run good with it hold their integrity do what they say they're going to do be able to do the job with excellence and do it like it's supposed to be done. See, with me as a woman, I know things. I know carpentry. I know I know this. I just can't get to all these projects. And that creates a lot of stress load, frustration. You know, you're only one person who is very wise not to burn yourself out, but to pull someone in. This gentleman is coming this morning. He's been working with me for a short time. He has put, helped me put up cabinets. He's been doing some repairs that I actually introduced to John back in the summer. We're now fixing hitting into spring. Of 2022 so uh, so I was saying that it just um, you know it, introducing it to somebody wood doesn't hold itself for so long you can look at it and it can you say okay and then it'll reach a point in time it says I'm done and you, you know you're gonna have some major problems within that it created me because of some work simple work didn't get done 
some simple repairs that can get done. It created me how to put a roof on another one building, a roof on this building, and now we've got this right here. Not to say the termites wasn't there, the damage wasn't there. That's one of the things you don't know. And me trying to find other people to uh, to come and just do repairs. They just wanted these big jobs. Well, there's big jobs here, but what needs to be done first needs to be done first. And that's how you have to look at it. Priorities are first. What is the most important thing? So, and, and I believe in, in just trusting God because if they will not on your homestead handle small re repairs, stuff that's important, stuff that's going to cost you money, a lot of money in the long run, or it, it can't help you out, like you giving them, you know, they're supposed to give you service, like you want them for, just, just get rid of them. Don't, it, don't even stress yourself out about it. So Chris is on his way. I want to introduce Chris to you. And because uh, his work so far has been just really excellent. I mean, I like it. Um, He's took the stress off my shoulders, um, some repairs, and like I said, they're not big repairs, but it's going to turn major big repairs if something is not done quickly, especially when I've been trying to do this for, get this done for a year. So, the reason I'm bringing, introduce Chris to you, for locally, we're on the east coast of North Carolina, for those that are around me, um, my Facebook friends and stuff like that. Um, yeah, if someone's doing excellent, they keep doing excellent, I, re I would like to put their name out there and refer them. I did put John's name out there on the greenhouse, but when you quit in the middle of jobs and you don't finish jobs, that, that's the end of that. And that says enough for itself. I don't see this young man doing this. I don't, he just seems fascinating. He's not that type of person. He did say with the window that needed to be repaired that, that John was supposed to repair, um, that I've been saying to him and it reached a point that was just like, there's, there's no help with this window and now it's got to be taken completely out. Um, and so um, somebody else is coming in I rely on to do that. But Chris said, you know, I, he, he didn't feel comfortable with that, he, or however his words was. And I appreciate that. I appreciate honesty. Tell me the truth up front. So you want someone to tell you the truth up front. Not say they're going to come with no show. You want someone that's going to be there and do like they say and operate integrity and do with excellence. When I ran my business for 21 years, that's how I ran it. And so, Chris is coming in, like I said, I want to introduce you to him. And, you know, if you got any projects, give him a shout out, you know? So, y'all, if you hadn't hit that like button, that, that subscribe button, tap that bell, you know, slam it down, help me get out there in the YouTube arena. This has very, been a very busy, super busy year for me, trying to get all these projects done. So, YouTube has the, this thing that if you don't get all these comments and likes and subscribes, they don't put you out there. It don't matter how good your video is or how, and I've seen videos that are just not that good, but if they get the comments and the likes and the subscribes and tapping that bell, and they get thrown out there. So, my point of getting out there is to help people. Termite damage. Take care of it before it gets worse. Call someone, get an estimate, get them to come out, give you an estimate. They will inspect, you will find out just by them coming out giving you an estimate that costs you nothing, whether you already have termites or not. And if you do, then you can go ahead and jump on it before it comes major, because you can see the damage that's taking place. It started down here. It really doesn't look that much. I'm just hoping it's not further inside in the walls of this building here. If it is, we just have to deal with it. And that, that's why you want to find out. So you can go ahead and deal with it. Okay, guys. When Chris get, comes in, I'm going to introduce you to him and give him a call. Hey, everyone. Guess what? I made a mistake on the name. I told you I've been dealing with a lot. And it's not Chris. I want you to introduce something other, someone, excuse me, someone I think a lot of. And here he is. Hey guys, my name is Matt, um, <laughs> formerly known as Chris, but uh, he, I respond to both, so it, it doesn't much matter to me. Um, but yeah, so Cammy invited me here to, uh, you know, take care of some of these issues. Mostly right now we're focusing on the, the rotted wood on the sheds. Um, as you can see here, this one, uh, a, lot of, a lot of termite damage after we had pulled it up, so it kind of took a small job and made it a little bit bigger, unfortunately, but... So the next step is to kind of 
go in inside of the shed here and see how far that termite damage has has gone over. So that's that's what we're going to do next, and we're replacing a lot of this material with um, something more durable. Um, right now, it's really difficult to to, to get materials. Absolutely. Um, you know, because of COVID, but we we are replacing this with a, a fiber cement board that's going to hold up a lot better. Um, there is a, a, a T111 um, material that's more composite, but they're completely sold out of that. I haven't been able to get that, so we're uh, kind of, you know, doing the best we can with the materials that we have. So, Yeah, so he's, like I say, he's doing excellent work. It's like the frustration, stress off me because I'm going to be on the inside of the homestead. I'm going to continue painting. i got so much going on. The whole thing's been gutted out, ripped out. I've ripped it all out, you know, so it's got to be restored. Like I said, he did help me with the cabinets. But he's he's pretty much a, a good, absolutely handyman. So um, so let's get started. But what is your telephone number that people can reach you? Um, well, so I use two numbers. <laughs> I, I have a, a Google number that uh, I never remember. But uh, let me. Uh, let me who who remembers up. numbers? I don't yeah. remember numbers. People ask me. I say, um, hold on, just one one moment. I don't call myself. So yeah. So today's gonna be a beautiful day. We're gonna have some. Um, Crazy weather coming in, freezing rain, they say. Uh, I haven't had a chance to check out the weather, but if you want to check out the weather in your area, call uh, or check on YouTube, Weatherman Plus. He's excellent. I watch him every single day. I'm going to be watching him just shortly because I need to know what's going on with the weather because they say we got two days of bad weather. So what is your number? So my number, 910-839-8609. You guys can call me or text me on that number. Yeah. So also his number will be down in the description and uh, any kind of comments or information you want to know, just leave it down into the comment section and uh, I'll get it to Chris and Chris can answer your questions or you know give him a shout out. But thank y'all. I said it again. <laughs> Chris or Matt. <laughs> Where is this Chris coming from? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I've been called worse. So no, I have too, but you know what? <laughs> it's all good, right? I don't know where Chris is coming from. Okay, so that's going to bother me all day long. Okay, after this, no more Chris. Wherever that came from. Matt, y'all, Matt, I got changed in my phone too. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Give us a thumbs up and continue to watch the future videos. So subscribe, hit that bell, and see you into the next video. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful day.
Guys, all that wood right there is just completely gone. The termites just ate it completely up. You see all that debris down there. Two by six is completely gone. But like I said, you, you don't know what you're going to get in until you get into it. But this could have been a lot worse. Yeah, luckily it only went about say, a couple of feet in here, so we didn't have to take out all of it. Yeah. Good.